In this short video, we're going to show you how you can wrap text to vectors. So you can see in this example, we've got the word software and we've got this curvy line that we've got here. And I'm going to show you how you can take text and then wrap it along a vector or a curve. So to do that, go into this tool over here, text on a curve. And when you click on that, that's going to open up the text on a curve tool. So the first thing that we need to do is select our text and then shift and select the curve that you would like to wrap the text to. And you'll see straight away what it does is it automatically wraps it to the curve that you're using. And we can control how this looks via all of the settings that we've got available to us within this form. So starting at the top, we have the ability to adjust the text size. So by default, the software will maintain the text size. So you can see that the actual size of the text hasn't changed. And then we have the option to scale text to fill the curve. And if we click on that, you can see at 100%, what it's doing is it's just filling the entire curve with the text at a size that enables it to fill the entire vector. And we can adjust that by just using the slider here. So we can make that smaller if we wanted to, like so. We'll just put that back to 100 and then we're just going to go back to maintain text size and you'll see that the software remembers the original state that it was before. Next up, we have the ability to adjust our text spacing. So at the moment, there's no spacing between our characters, but if we use our slider, you can see that we can increase the spacing like so and then moving backwards we can actually decrease that spacing as well so I'm just going to set that back to its original state there then we have the ability to alter the text position at the moment it's currently set to above the curve and we can see our text is above our curve here we can change that to on the curve or we could change that to below the curve if we go back to above curve, we have the ability to check the option to text on the other side. And when we click on that, it puts the text on the other side, like so. And then if we undraw that, it just puts that back into its original state. Then we can choose to set an offset distance. So that's a distance between the text and the curve. So here, let's say we wanted a quarter inch distance. You can see it's created that quarter inch offset there for us. So then we can set that back to zero and it will just update that there. We can also alter the text alignment. It's currently set to the middle. We can set that to the left, back to the middle, to the right. If we go back to the middle over here, you'll see we've got a blue box here and we can actually manually move that into a position that we wanted that to go in. Again, to the left, and again, use that box as well. And we'll put that back to the middle. It's currently aligning the text to the curve. So the characters are following the curvature that we've got here. But we have the option to keep our text and all of our characters vertically aligned. So if we click on that, you'll see that the text is now vertical. But we'll put that back to align to curve. And then when you're happy with all of your settings, you can close out and there's your text that's been aligned to the curve. Now it's worth noting if I take this vector and I delete it, it's not going to have any impact on the actual word itself. And if I wanted to further edit this, I can by selecting that and I can go back into my draw text tool and you'll see it maintains the curvature that was used where we wrapped our text to and if I wanted to add more text I can by typing in text like so and you can see it maintains that curvature and if I keep adding more text you'll see that the text gets smaller because it's trying to fit onto our text. And if I just add in another word, you'll see how small it gets. Now the pitfall of this is that if you come to delete it, you'll see that it's not maintaining that text size. And so if you wanted to go back to its original state, simply come out and then you can just use the uh, control Z command to get that back into its original state.
And if you wanted to edit the kernin also with that selected, you can go back into your text tool where you can make use of the kernin options. If we just zoom in there so that we can access those and you can see we can adjust the space in between our characters all whilst the word is still maintaining the original curve. Okay, so let's just close out and then we'll just hit the F key just to zoom our active view limits. So now we're going to look at another example. So we're just going to go to our layers bar and just switch on the circle layer. So here we've got the word Vectric software and we've got a circle. Now a common example is where you want to align one word to the top of a circle and then the bottom word underneath on the bottom of the circle. So I'll show you how easy it is to do. So first off, what you need to do is you need to take your text and then you need to right click, go to text and then use this option here to break block into lines. And that will just ensure that we've got two separate entities. So we'll just move them out of the way. Secondly, what you need to do is you need to take your circle and we need to actually cut our circle in half. So we need to go into node edit mode. Okay, and we're going to cut our circle over here. So you could press C on the keyboard and then we're going to press C on the keyboard over here. So now we've got two separate arcs here. And then what we'll do is we'll take our first text, so Vectric, and then we'll shift and select the top curve over here. We'll go into the wrap text tool and you can see we've got our text there. Let's just give that a little bit of an offset of a quarter of an inch here. And then whilst we're in the form, we can select this text here, shift and select this vector along the bottom here. And here you can see that the software has been wrapped. However, it's not quite what I wanted. I want it on the other side. And so this is where you might find yourself having to just switch through various settings until you are happy with the look of it. So for example, we'll put it below the curve and again, we'll just create an offset there um, of a quarter of an inch and you can see how easy it was to just kind of wrap that and then we can close out and again what you can do is you can make further edits to the text that you've originally wrapped by going back into the text tool for example if you didn't want that font then you could just go ahead and search for a different font so let's just go with railway and put that in there and again you can go and use all of the text editing tools such as your kernin and with the ability to kind of add to your text also and so that's how you wrap text to curves. Thank you for watching.